Hey co-friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as you can see from the very large hair, I'm up to something. I'm finally getting some twists done to my hair, protective style for the summer, giving my hair a little break, and I'm so excited to see how it looks. I've always done braids, but I've never done twists. So today I'm going to have a very talented celebrity hairstylist to my hair. Kamara Brown, also known as Raw Intuition, is going to be doing my twists today. So right now I have very stretched out curls. I did not want to straighten it so I don't have any heat damage before doing a protective style. If you want to see how I stretched my hair, make sure you watch my previous video. But without further ado, let's get started. Hey you guys, my name is Kamar Brown and today I'll be doing some Senegalese twists on Bianca. It's going to be really cute. I'm using Rasta Afri braiding hair, the pre-stretched. So right now I'm starting with the back um, and I'll be making my sections going across from ear to ear. When it comes to Senegalese twists, because braiding hair can be a little bit heavy, I don't like to start all the way. Um, down at the edge. I like to kind of have some room so you'll be able to lift it up and down without it tugging so much at the back of your hair. I'm going to section the hair, pin the rest away that I'm not using just so it can be out of the way. I like to use a Magic Finger Shine Jam. This is kind of one of my favorite products to also use to just slick the hair and gather it all together. It's a pomade, so it kind of just melts as like an oil, so it's not as thick as like an edge control. So it's really great for braiding. So you want to split the section in half like this. Take your braiding hair and meet it in the middle. And I'm going to start with the right side. I'm twisting all the way till it kind of has a firm grip on the root of her hair. While I'm holding that, I'm taking the left side and I'm twisting it. You just wanna make sure you have a strong grip on both sides so it doesn't become loose. So once I get that grip, I'm gonna cross over and just start to gradually twist all the way down to the end. But at the same time, making sure that you continue that, that grip that you have. So um, what I like to do is I'll twist then after a couple of sections twisting, I stop to reposition myself and grip again, twisting all the way to the right and twisting all the way to the left and twisting them both together. I hope that makes sense. It kind of can be a little <laughs> bit confusing, but the more you watch the video, you'll kind of understand just, you know, how I am twisting just to make it, make it stay. just kind of like wringing the the hair just kind of like twisting it to the right I've twisted both sections to the right and right now I'm just going to twist them together so when it comes to doing this style you just want to make sure you have like a really firm grip and you're constantly twisting but you don't want to forget to like take moments to kind of twist each section like this because if you don't, then you're just going to end up with a regular twist. So you want to make sure that both sides are twisted to the right and then you twist them together. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to try to do it a little bit slower, but I'm twisting one section to the right, making sure it's smooth. That's why I use product so I can make sure that each section is smooth, twisting it to the right. And I'm having this left strand and I'm also going to twist it to the right while holding what I just did so I could have a nice firm grip and then I'm going to twist both together. That's what creates this um, firm hold and you know firm twist. So I put a little question on Instagram asking you guys if you had any questions so while I have the professional with me let's answer some questions. Does doing this damage your hair's texture? No. 
No. Not at all. That's why it's called a protective styling. It's, it's protecting, protecting your hair. So it's actually the opposite. Can I swim with them? What would you say? So I wouldn't recommend, you know, recommend to swimming with them because, for instance, Bianca's hair um, is really curly. And so I'm sure when it reacts to water, it's just going to start frizzing up. Then that will start showing more. And so the style wouldn't be as sleek. Crisp. Yeah. <laughs> As you would like it to be. Like for me, I purposely get braids for vacations where I know I'm going to be in the, at the beach or swimming a lot just because I don't want to have to wash my hair and worry about styling it in a wash and go every day. But then I also know that I'm going to, they probably can get frizzier faster. So if you want them to last long, then I just put it up in a bun while you're in the water. But if you're just on vacation and you just want to be carefree, you also could use braids for that reason of just mm -hmm. like, they might get a little frizzy, but at least I'm not washing my hair every day. Yeah. How long of a break do you need to give your hair between braids if you're a curly girl? If you're going through thinning or you feel like, you know, you have finer texture hair, I wouldn't suggest you wearing your braids um, for a long period of time because it's just going to add more weight. Yeah, more and, tension. On yeah, style. more tension and it's going to break. Um, but, you know, if your hair can hold up a protective style a little bit longer, I say at least make sure you go about a month, you know, wearing a protective style, getting it shampooed and reinstalling it. I think sometimes we get caught up in like, oh, it's protecting, so let's just leave it leave in there. Leave it in forever. <laughs> yeah, no, you got to make sure you take it out. So we say it. like a month and then take it off for a month and then maybe go back in. Yeah, or even if you, okay, say um, you're wearing locks, right, and you want those to be really lived in and you don't want to take those out because the idea is to make sure that they... Um, have that like lock and texture look you at least want to redo the perimeter of your hair so that you're not pulling the front of your hair and um, the back as well so it just depends on what protective style you're wearing is it normal to get itchy bumps in your hair when you get braids done no that means that you are um, probably allergic to the hair right? to the hair or how the style was installed um, put too much tension on your scalp, which mm -hmm. is causing you to kind of break out. How long is recommended to keep them in your hair? As far as this protective style, like these twists, I say they can last you a good four to six weeks and then you can take them out and figure out what other protective style you would like to do again. I'm hoping to keep mine in for a full month. We'll mm -hmm. see if I have to make any curly content for you guys. <laughs> How often do you wash your hair with braids? So when it comes to actually shampooing your hair, I recommend, um, dry shampoo spray that's kind of what i suggest to my clients because just like swimming you know if you get in the water if you drench your hair in the shower with water mm -hmm. it may mess up your style and it won't be as sleek as you you know as you want it to be so a good dry shampoo spray i like tropical roots they have a really good shampoo spray there's a brand called canvi they have a nice um foam that basically you can spray it on your hair and it basically takes off all the residue and all the buildup. So something like that, that's just focusing on your root and not actually, you know, the style of the hair will be better. So I'll look for these products and I'll link them in my Amazon store and put them in the description box for you guys. So you would say like, because this isn't real hair, it doesn't really need to be like taken care of, like washed and deep conditioned, even though our hair is like intertwined, but it's not like, how we usually have to wash our hair once a week yeah. or anything like that. No, it's just really important that you clean your scalp because you do want to make sure you continue to oil and moisturize your hair. And these are called Senegalese twists, right? Yes, they're called Senegalese twists. You know what's interesting? I feel like there's just so many names for <laughs> things depending on where you are. My parents are from Jamaica and in Jamaica, these are called rope twists. Hmm. And I can see why they're called rope twists because they literally like look ropes. like a rope. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a little update three weeks in. Tomorrow was right, I did go swimming with my twist and they did get a little frizzy, especially on the top. So I have noticed that braids will do better with swimming in the pool because it's a looser type of style. We also end up using nine packs of braiding hair and that cost me about 50 bucks just for hair. Because I wanted a lot of smaller braids, I wasn't able to put my hair up in the style because it was just too heavy. So if you want to be able to put your hair up on a ponytail, go a little bit larger with your twist or your braids, or even do crochet, that way it's a lot lighter and you can put your hair up. I love this look, I definitely want to do it again, but it does not last as long as just regular individual braids. For me. We are done! Oh my.
my goodness! It's so cute too. Turn around. Wait, wait. Gotta get the hair. Okay, go. So, so cute. cute. <laughs> I think it's the perfect length. Oh, so it's so pretty. pretty! Thank you so, so no much. Problem. We still have one final step. We'll show you yes. what that is. We're gonna dip the hair um, to seal the ends, okay? So, Bianca hair is pretty long. I don't know if you can tell where her, like, blonde is. So, we're not oh, yeah. gonna go all the way up um, because we don't want to cause any frizz in our hair, but we're yeah. definitely gonna seal the ends. So, I just boiled some water and now we're just gonna dip the ends. Water's pretty hot, so when you do this step, you want to just be careful. Tilt your head to me. I'm going to use some foam. My Which foam were you going to use? My texture foam. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember me doing a video maybe a couple months ago on the Define Me. Yes foam this is Kamara the creator inventor of this foam it has amazing hold it's lightweight and it will smooth down any little flyaways and it's also yeah. good for wash and goes you could use it on wigs yeah, everything everything um, it's really great for braids because it is such a, a strong hold um, it just gives a nice finished look so you don't have any flyaways and everything is just tamed. So I really enjoy doing this. If you want to get the Define Me moisturizing texture foam for yourself, we actually have a promo code. So if you use code Bianca, you can get 10% off. I love this not only for my twists, but also for my wash and goes. I will link my video in my description box. Make sure you check it out. This is the finished look. It's so cute. How do you feel, Bianca? I love it! And how do they book you? You can book me at rawintuition.com. That's R A W W intuition.com. And you'll be able to see more photos of my work. And you can book online. And I hope to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys also go to Kamara, make sure you tag me so I can see. Yeah. But here's the finished result. So cute. Perfect length. Yeah. So you guys like. So <laughs> awesome so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe you also can follow me on instagram at ms bianca renee yes. and your instagram is ron tuition at ron tuition we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bianca renee today